Good morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ayoka, and I'm getting ready to just pull some cards for y'all to get y'all day started, okay? Happy Friday. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a blessed weekend. Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe button, and that thanks button if you're feeling generous. You also know how this goes. Flip the rolls as you see fit. Take only what you need and leave the rest. Please use the spirit of discernment as you are viewing this video. All right now, so I don't know if you're masculine or feminine, but all I know is energy. So I'm going to speak the story, how it's coming out in my spread. All I ask is that you have the spirit of discernment to decipher the message, okay? Check this out. Secrets revealed. All right, so it's some stuff that's coming out. Coming to the light. Coming to the light. All right, now. So it says, open your eyes. Secrets are being revealed. It is safe for you to see the truth. Your inner vision is crystal clear. You don't know what you don't know. Your creator, ancestors, angels, spirits, and ascended masters are whispering to you. This is divine intelligence. Pay close attention. There are things you do not let yourself see. Allow yourself to be guided. Choose your own path. And then declare, I am connected to the divine. Okay, so I'm a full tarot. Just so I can get a glimpse here of what we need to see. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angelic guides, for guiding me, protecting us as we go through these spiritual gates to commune with you. And closing against anything not in alignment with the divine's will. Thank you for using me as a messenger, helping me to deliver a message for my collective's highest good. And so it is. Thank you, my spirit team. Tell me about these secrets revealed. It's going to be about your masculine, okay? Or if you are this masculine energy, okay? The emperor is in the reverse. So this emperor has been doing some stuff here I'm seeing that mm -hmm, hasn't been honest. Seven of swords reverse. So it's coming out. Either they're going to confess it or they're going to tell or the truth is going to be eliminated, illuminated by the universe is what I just heard. Okay. Seven of cups reverse. So what I'm seeing here is that they definitely have been reluctant to carry through something, okay? They've been indecisive about something. But what I feel like is like now they may be finding the confidence here to come out and say it. Seven of Cups. Yeah, that's about making a decision. Finally choosing after being indecisive. So you may get a message, all right? It's going to be a positive message. It could be about some type of opportunity too as well, but it's going to be a positive message because it's coming with the intentions of a Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is normally very slow and graceful, but they come in with a message that comes from their heart. It's like this is someone who follows their heart or, their, or what they're passionate about. Seven of Pentacles comes out. So what I feel like is that this, this person has been really sitting back and contemplating, also reassessing, trying to see what's most important, just taking a step back. That's just how I'm looking at it. Just taking a, a step back for a moment, just to really see what they have been committing to. Okay, now... Mm. What is this message in tell? What is this night coming to screen? Thank you. So the six of wands comes out in an upright position. So this message could definitely take you to the next step in your journey is what I'm hearing. It's some type of recognition or something you're trying to achieve here. And what this night is going to bring is going to help you to achieve that goal. Look at that. That knight comes up to king status, king of cups. Wow. One second, y'all. So, 
Of course, the king comes with it, all right? The king comes with it. The king is going to come with a solid offer, okay? Definitely following their heart. Yep, they've been thinking about this for a minute. Four cups upright. They've been contemplating about this. So maybe they've been feeling disconnected or very distant, but it's because they've been thinking. They've been in thought, okay? Now... I'm hearing they've been triggered a lot um, over the week, but for the most part, whatever the message is that's coming in from this person, it's going to be, and I heard a message of love. I got the death card coming out. Okay, so what I'm feeling here, this is the beginning of a new life for you. There's a lot of major changes that are taking place here in your story. And you've been going through some type of transformation here, okay? This this masculine energy has been going through a transformation. And a cycle has come or is coming to an end. Yeah, the magician comes out. It's almost like this feeling of you are learning how to manifest and how to master that. Okay, it's like now someone has the willpower to literally cultivate whatever it is that they are desiring or dreaming of at the moment is how I'm seeing that. All right, so that's good energy, right? We got water sign, energy, air sign, and fire sign. So let's see. Tell me what I need to see. Mm -hmm. Five of Swords with the Knight of Swords in the reverse position. So what I feel like is that this person wasn't coming in, all right, because of some type of tension. There could have been some type of disputes or conflict. It could have been internal conflict, but I'm going to see. And so they weren't really coming in because of, of that. But what I feel like is like they're ready to come in here to get back together or reconcile your you guys differences <clears throat> but yeah they had to heal from something is what i'm hearing so like i was telling you guys they may have taken a pause here for a second but it was simply because they had to heal from something here that was causing a lot of tension for them i got an empress and a reverse and a three of wands all right so whether this is someone's mother or fem someone acting in a feminine energy um, shoot, because it could be a man acting like an empress, right? But a reverse one on top of that. And I definitely feel like when it comes to them looking ahead, they may have been feeling a little insecure about some things. But I'm also seeing here that it's um, an energy in a karmic energy on top of that um, that's around them, okay? That causes them to be frustrated or creates obstacles and delays okay so again like i said this could be a mama this could be a sister it could be a friend it could be somebody they have children by it can even be like you understand like a brother you know saying a father you know but i feel like that's where a lot of the obstacles and frustrations are coming from and to be honest with you i feel like it's not just one karmic y'all it's several karmic energies in this masculine's life yeah because it's the three of pentacles in a reverse position it could be three you know however it goes but that's where all of the restrictions are coming from i got two three of wands in reverse well it's the three of pentacles and this is the three of wands but both actually speaks of like a lack of cohesion you know frustrations obstacles and progress and what I feel like is that this masculine has been trying to expand. They've been trying to, you know, really develop something here for themselves, especially when it comes to them being successful, working hard and everything. But they even feel like their efforts aren't paying off or there's just not an, enough um, cohesion. It's just like, you know how when you have certain goals, not everybody's in a line with 
your goals and they're not privy to what you got going on but that's just what it is it's just like it's a lack of um people actually or collaborative effort is what i'm hearing okay so and it's causing an imbalance here in their connections especially the ones that they care about the most now yeah somebody could have said something to them um coming from that queen of swords reverse energy yep and the queen of swords reverse can be very manipulative they can be cruel they can be toxic too it's like some of the stuff that they say out their mouth is just damn right rude okay and what i'm seeing here with the high priestess in the reverse next to the three of pentacles in the reverse that literally really um causes this person to feel repressed in their intuition it blocks them it's hard for them to be able to catch the downloads here and what i feel like here also is that within that situation they also could not see they couldn't see this empress reverses hidden motives okay can they see their hidden motives now i got the six of swords coming out it's kind of like sideways so i want to pull again but it's like they are they were or are stuck in between the transition of leaving and also kind of still stuck to a pattern is what i'm hearing okay or have it it's kind of not moving but just like it's like you know how you park like okay i'm a park <laughs> And I, they ain't moving just yet, but I'm just going to sit still real quick and like really try to reflect and do all of these things here. And then I'll take and move forward. Is this um, Emperor Reverse able to see the truth here? The hidden motives and intentions here of this Empress Reverse. Yeah. They are in a matching suit either. It's like you got the emperor reverse and the empress reverse. This is strictly lessons, okay? But here with the page of swords in the reverse position, the seven of cups, this is why they were scattered in their thinking. Especially when it comes to, or you know, making a certain decision here, that's where the confusion was coming from, okay? So they couldn't see the hidden tactics or manipulation. And that's what I'm feeling like it's going to be revealed here with the nine of cups in a reverse position here. Um, yeah, uh, it's like a sense of uh, dissatisfaction or disappointment that this masculine energy is feeling, especially because they fell into some type of error or complacency here in their life. And a lot of things were concerning them because it's like they, I feel like this masculine NG has been really trying to obtain their wish fulfillment. They've been looking for that contentment in their life. I just seen 1303 on my timer. <clears throat> One second. The dust from this card keep getting caught up in my throat. <clears> throat> What effect is this truth being revealed going to have on my collective? <clears throat> if you are the queen of cups here, you're tied in this situation emotionally as well. You're highly intuitive, so trust your intuition here and stay balanced, okay? Use your wisdom is also what I'm hearing. Show me what I need to see. How is this affecting my collection? Yeah. Mm. The sun card comes out next to the nine of wands. So what I'm hearing is because of the simple fact that you are experiencing whatever adversities you're going through right now, right? within this situation, you're being asked to stay positive, okay? Because that's who you are. That's what you stand for. Stay positive through this situation. Even though it's a lot of adversity, I got 7-Eleven on my timer. So yeah, some things is, let me look that up. Some things is getting ready to come full circle. 
Let me look up 711 angel number. Let go of your past, forgive yourself and others, and continue to progress forward. Okay. Um, let me see what else we got here. If you're in a twin flame connection, it says that this is also a sign from your angels. There's a fresh connection between you and your twin flame. You're going to renew your relationship or it may move to the next stage. Yep, 7-Eleven means choose your thoughts well and make wise choices and decisions. And I feel like I'm telling you the synchronicities are guiding us, y'all. So take and look and break it down. If you keep seeing something repetitively, please look up the angel numbers and see what it means, especially if it's numbers, if it's animals, if it's red cardinals, if it's blue jays, whatever it is that you see that resonates with you, take and look it up and see what the spiritual significance is behind it um, so that you can get a good understanding of what the message may be. Okay, but otherwise it's, it's like stay optimis optimistic here, okay? Because... You know, when you go through a dark period, what ends up following after that dark period? The sun, the sun comes out after every storm. There's a rainbow, right? Okay. And and what I'm seeing is because you are, you are your own personal fulfillment. You provide inspiration to others and joy as well. People are literally drawn to you because of that. It's who you are. So stay that. Don't change who you are because of the circumstances. Because it is. It's a lot that's coming up against you. It's a lot. I'm he I'm seeing that um, people may challenge your position. People covet what you have. Okay? But here, keep sharing your qualities. Keep, keep radiate, radiating that love and affection towards those you care about most especially. Because at the end of the day, this is happiness that's coming in for you. This is like your new beginnings. The door is open here to you, the door to spirit and the door to um, abundance. Okay, so everything that's coming through that door right now is coming to support you and your ancestors are on the other side. They're now through the veil is what I'm hearing. It's like they're now, they're now in supporting you and guiding you. Okay, they're coming through that door with everything, your abundance. It's not going to come all at once, of course, but... This is good energy, okay, because you have a lot of support, and that's because you're now beginning to literally understand who you are, okay, as an individual, as a light worker. For most, you know, all of us, shoot, I feel like that are guided to tarot are normally called and gifted in some kind of way, okay. But what I feel like with that sun card is literally here getting ready to um, blossom, okay, in your connection with this person. It's going to bring you two closer together. It's like after a period of separation and and, and um, feeling disconnected here from this person here, the sun is coming in yep, to make things change for the better. The will of fortune. This is a new cycle. Mm-hmm. This is a new cycle, y'all. Like, I'm hearing even when it comes to your career, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to love, when it comes to your own personal growth, all right? So stay motivated and stay happy because this is what's going to keep helping you to manifest here. What about these secrets? The chariot card comes out. Could be, you could be a cancer, somebody you're connected to could be a cancer. Somebody could ride a motorcycle here is also what I'm seeing. And what I feel like here, somebody could love cats, <laughs> live in a big city, okay? But what I feel like here is that there's been an injustice done. And of course, the scales are coming to balance this. And overall, whatever the challenges are, you or this person 
will overcome. Okay? Somebody's getting ready to take some type of action here. They've been guarded. <clears throat> Yeah, they've been very guarded is what I'm saying. But it's some codependencies, you know, that they have to be released, right? They haven't been really given to you. Six of Pentacles reverse. Not like they normally do. And what I feel like is it has a lot to do with their self-worth. It's just like one of these things, you know how you don't feel like you're valuable enough? And whatever the dynamic or degree, it's like maybe they don't feel like they deserve you, okay? Maybe you don't feel like you deserve someone. And then when it's like if you think about it, if you're on the other spectrum here of this Nine of Pentacles and you are the Nine of Pentacles upright, look at that. You got everything you need. Really, it's like, what do you need this person for? But of course, you need 10 pinnacles to reach your legacy. But it feels like, to me, like this person, this masculine energy feels like they don't have enough to offer you. Look at that, six of pinnacles. When I see it in the reverse, it's like this and upright, they can bring balance to both situations. They can, they can give to the needy. They can give to, you know, their family and be very generous, period. And the reverse is like, no, I can't do that. I feel like this masculine energy be so busy working. They be hustling. They don't even really have the time to enjoy what they earn on top of that. Okay. So, and, and, and when you're in that energy like that, it's because you're trying to Build something for yourself so that you can be able to contribute into somebody else's life, whether that's your emotional stability, whether that's your financial security, you know, whatever that is. It's like you want to be able to overcome certain challenges. And if you don't feel like you have enough, how can you overcome the challenges? Right. A lot of times, shoot, majority of the times we face these challenges, it always has something to do with money. Right. Twenty two, twenty two on a time run. And I feel like this person, masculine energy, may feel like they need the best of everything. And that's what their goal has been. It's like trying to make sure they can have it all so that they can be able to do everything they need to do. But of course, you ain't going to get all nine, <laughs> nine of your cups at once. You're going to get them, but not all at once. And that brings in a feeling of anxiousness and and um, you may feel impatient because you got things that you're trying to do. I feel like, you know, whoever this masculine energy is has these goals. Like, I need to do this, 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 and that, and I need to do it now. Like, I can't take this slow journey. <laughs> it all has to come to me now. But what I'm feeling like is like once this emperor rever reverse has done the self-reflecting and going through this transformation and starting to get it, what's most important to me? My family and my loved ones around me, the people I love, that's what's most important. And sometimes you got to take a cut in your income, right, for a short time or reduce your hours at work just so that you can be able to enjoy those moments. Because that's what really makes you happy. If you're spending all of your time working and hustling, you can't really enjoy life. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, how can you enjoy your nine of cups if you get it all at once when you hustling every day and night? And this is very triggering. And when you cling to the past and it makes it hard for you to be able to be open to receive love. When you cling to the wrong ideas, look, nine of pentacles come out in the reverse again. It makes it hard for you to open up to new people. It, the whole theme is just recognizing here that you are enough, whether this is for you or for this masculine energy here that I'm that I'm, I'm pulling in. But I feel like it's for us all collectively because we do tend to lack our own self. We don't see our own value. Let's just put it that way. 
that we are worthy to have good things, that we are worth it, that we are enough, that we are amazing to be able to have good quality people and things in our life. How are these secrets being revealed going to affect this masculine energy? It's going to affect their decisions. Yep. Two of Pentacles here. Up right. They've been juggling a lot. Trying to play a balancing act. Nine of Wands reverse. Next to the death card. So what I feel like here when I see this is like it's kind of, it's like forcing them to make a decision for real because they've been so stubborn, defensive, and not really putting in the effort to make the necessary changes. And what it's gonna end up doing, of course, is lead to endings. It's like those endings, of course, when things begin to end, it's like you don't have no choice <laughs> at this point. You got to make a decision because the stuff is coming to an end anyway, whether you like it or not. <laughs> it's funny how the, how the universe tends to do that. It, it pushes us along when we won't do it. And also when you're going through a transformation and you're working on yourself, that's what happens. Things are going to fall away. They can't stay in your energy. And I'm hearing like this is causing order. And what I feel like what also is going to be revealed is what's most important to this masculine energy, Ten of Cups. And it's their happiness. And what I just heard is somebody's ready to commit to the journey. <laughs> Okay, somebody's ready to commit to their evolution, y'all. This is a good goddamn day. That's all we're going to say, okay? Even though some stuff is going to come out, stay balanced, stay grounded, okay? Whether, because if it triggers you, right, of course, there's still some stuff in you that you have to work on. So hopefully it doesn't trigger you too much. <laughs> <laughs> because you are right now where ego kicks in, divine timing kicks in, and you be sitting up here like, oh, I got another cycle of this shit. <laughs> What's the energy? <laughs> Victory in the reverse. So flip that energy, okay? You're going to have a reason to celebrate. You have been getting, you have been getting messages, okay, that's coming from, the esoteric world, like, come through. These messages are intended to help you to feel more uplifted and positive and, and everything. It's not just being said as a feel-good message. No, it's a message of truth. Yeah, this is how the energy stands now. But if you stay connected to that energy, this energy can literally keep going. It doesn't have to come to a halt or pause. It's our minds that causes us to... Um, miss the hidden blessings or to delay the next step in our story okay but go within because again walking away in the reverse is some things that need to be released you got to be open for the new beginning so hopefully whatever comes out because you already know what's done in the dark comes to the light whatever comes out is going to help this masculine energy whoever's operating in that to move on to detach for what from what no longer serves them that old habit false beliefs negative mindsets negative emotions all of that people just so they can experience a happier and healthier life okay somebody's ready to have healthier experiences that's all i'm gonna say somebody's ready to release it just so that they can have the victory what a way to end the week, right? <laughs> so, y'all right know, whenever you tune into this video, the energy stands, okay? 
these videos do not have any time con con how can I say it? constrictions is that the right constraints any time constraints it still don't even sound right okay <laughs> but it doesn't um whenever you tune in okay it could be next year and this shit could be for you <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for tuning in. You guys enjoy your weekend. Love you. Peace.